Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Any2, a GPS spoofing software from iMyPhone. Let's find out more. And thanks to iMyPhone for sponsoring this video. Essentially, what software like Any2 lets you to do is to spoof your GPS location or to change your phone's GPS location to appear that you are somewhere else than where you actually are. Now, there's plenty of reasons why you might want to do that, be it uh, to access geo-restricted content or for dating apps, for example, or to access geo-specific services on certain games. Regardless of why you may use software like this, do make sure to read the terms and conditions of whatever you're using to make sure you're not breaking any rules. Now let's jump into the software to show you how it works and this works on Android and iOS and with iOS you do not need to jailbreak your iPhone and you also don't need to install anything on your phone but rather on your computer whether it's a PC or a Mac. The first time you connect your phone you need to use a USB cable for that first connection but then afterwards you can simply connect via Wi-Fi as long as your computer and your phone or on the same Wi-Fi network. Now, as you can see, I placed myself in Central Park. I'm obviously not in Central Park in New York City. And now let me show you what happens if I open Google Maps on my phone. And as you can see, my phone thinks I'm in Manhattan in the middle of Central Park. Obviously, I'm not. Now, let's say we want to teleport to London. Let's type in London over here. And before I hit move, let me show you Google Maps again. And just like that, we are now in London. Now, in addition to simply jumping to different locations, there's a bunch of other things you can do with the software. Let's go back to Central Park. This, what I showed you was teleport mode, but you can also click over here to go to jump teleport mode. And what this lets you do, select multiple places on the map, and you can zoom out and select wherever you want to go. And then at predefined intervals, just jump from location to location. You can also set it to auto jump after a cooldown period, which is sometimes necessary by games like Pokemon Go. And then um, you have the cooldown timer set at 15 minutes over here. When you click move, you can see the timer is going to run down. And whenever the cool time timer is done, it's going to jump to the next location. The other option is this over here, which is two spot mode. And this lets you go from one location to the other, simulating actually traveling there. So if we click that and click somewhere on the map, let me zoom in so you can see the streets. You can select or customize how fast you'd like to move by using the slider over here, ranging from walking all the way to driving. Uh, you can change the speed and the units from kilometers per hour to meters per second, feet per second, or miles per hour. Let's say we do that, and you can hit realistic mode. And with realistic mode, what it's going to do is it's going to slightly vary the speed at which you are driving or walking or whatnot uh, to make it more realistic rather than go at a constant speed. Now, look what happens when we click move. It's going to plan the route and it's going to start moving to your destination. Now, if I show you what's happening on Google Maps, you can see that you're actually driving down West 64th Street in this case, going to your destination. And then the fourth option is multi-spot mode, and this lets you select multiple spots. And again, you can select the speed at which you want to travel. And when you hit move, it's going to start moving from that location to the next. Lastly, there is joystick mode. And let me zoom in here. And what joystick mode does is simply lets you use a joystick to navigate freely along the map. So let's increase the speed and hit move. And as you can see, you can control the joystick either on the keyboard or uh, using the joystick pad on the screen and uh, navigate freely on the map, whichever way you want. Lastly, the last one over here shows you the history of all the locations you went to or, or the spots you moved across, which uh, you can favorite or press here to go to that particular location from your history. And when you're done, if you want to just reset your location to wherever you actually are, you can click over here to reset your location. It's going to get your actual location and reset it. You might need to restart your phone so that that kicks in. That's all for me. Thanks for watching. And as always, if you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel as this encourages me to continue producing content. Until next time, cheers.